Using variable data technology is a great way to speed up production for applications where the art remains the same, but some of the data needs to change from copy to copy. With VersaWorks 6.8 and above, the limit on data entry has been increased from 20 lines to 200 and uses a basic excel.csv file to correctly identify and populate the variable data fields. We'll cover how to set up the .csv data in a little bit. For this tutorial, I'll show you how to use one design file to create several unique copies. I'll be using this Team Sports logo where the player name and player number changes from copy to copy, but the logo remains the same. Instead of designing 15 to 20 separate jobs, we only need to design one. First, the file needs to be prepared in your design software. In this example, I'll use Adobe Illustrator, but the naming conventions for the variable data fields is the same in other applications like CorelDRAW. Here we have our Eagles Pride logo, and you'll notice that the rectangle tool has been used to create two boxes. If we click the green rectangle and look at the swatch options, there are two very important things to remember. So you may want to write this next step down. When creating your variable data fields, it is a must to get the naming convention correct. This is to ensure that VersaWorks will be able to identify the variable data fields in the design, as well as identify the correct data from the Excel file to be used later. When I open the swatch options, you'll notice that the swatch name starts with the capital letters VDP. This identifies that this is a variable data field and they must be capitalized. Then there's an underscore and for this example we are using player name. There are no spaces and if you notice I've capitalized the P as well as the N. When it comes time to create the .csv file, I'll have to make sure to use the exact same naming convention or the data will not populate. The other important note is that the swatch being created must have a color type set to spot color, or the field will not be identified as variable data in VersaWorks. For color mode, you can select RGB, CMYK, or LAB, and the color doesn't matter. The variable data boxes will not show in VersaWorks if the swatch is set up correctly. Once you have set variable data fields up, you can now save out the file as a PDF and open in VersaWorks. Here's the design file, and you'll notice that the boxes created to identify the variable data fields that we created in Illustrator don't show up, just like a cut contour. Next, scroll down to the Variable Data tab. At the top of the page, there is a checkbox titled Enable Variable Data Printing. Click on the box to allow for the variable data tools to open up. You'll notice that the Attributes menu appears. Since we've yet to import the .csv file, there is no data yet to customize. Let's jump into Excel and view how the data is arranged. Here we have our Excel.csv file set up. Staying with our team sports design created in Illustrator, you can see that we have two columns. It is very important to make sure the column headers are titled exactly the way the variable data fields were created in Illustrator. In this example, we used VDP underscore player name and VDP underscore player number. As a reminder, the titles are case sensitive and must be spelled the same way as we did in the design phase. This is to ensure VersaWorks imports the correct data into the correct field. A great tip to avoid printing and spelling errors is to have your client fill out the name and number portion of the Excel file. This puts the responsibility for accuracy on the client and usually results in less errors either by you or the customer. Once the Excel sheet is complete, Save as a .csv file in the same folder as your art design for easy access from VersaWorks. Now that the variable data has been saved in our .csv file, it's time to import the data and finish setting up the print portion of the file. First, enable variable data. Next, select the folder icon at the top of the screen. If you save the file in the same location as your artwork, chances are VersaWorks will open that folder as default. Select the Excel file and click Open. If all the steps were followed correctly, your variable data settings window will populate and emulate the same data you entered in the Excel file. Now we can set up the size and position of the text using the Attributes window. As you see, the text comes through at a default of 10 point and a Microsoft Sans Serif font. If I go back and highlight an entire column, any changes I make in the attributes window will have an effect on all of the text in that column. You can also select individual data fields if needed for size and spacing of longer names. Since this is a sports team, I'm going to use the impact font. And I'm going to change the size of the text to 72 point on the names. 
and then add the same treatment to the number column. You can also add additional value by adding special effects like drop shadows matching the logo color. There are a lot of cool things you can do on this attributes window. We'll cover that in a later tutorial. At this point though, if I click OK and look at the updated preview screen, you can see that we now have 13 print files generated from a single variable data file. Variable data technology will cut down time spent on the design phase and improve production at times when it can be used.